Okay, here it is. I think this is going to be my final design. I've gone through several prototypes today. And what we have here is a couple new things. I've got dual ID badge holders, and that should work with just about any ID badge. I made it a little extra long. Just, you know, you never know. Some of these things can get long. And if you buy these, by the way, you can just remove that metal piece. It's not necessary. It doesn't need to stick out. Uh, I also designed the hang collar to use a bearing, um, which unfortunately means you need to use two nuts on this side. And there's a little spacer there. Uh, that's just to prevent the nuts from pressing right up against the bearing. So you tighten your tension. It doesn't need to be very strong, not as strong as usual because of the bearing. Um, and the way it works is, well, let me put it in the, um, in the wall mount here. So the way this works is you, well, let me get this out of the way here. There we go. As you wind it, the badge cord, the, the reel, wraps around and around and around. And by the way, you probably only need one of these. So think of the second one as optional just to give it a little extra rewind. Um, and there's not much, uh, it doesn't require that much force for reference to keep turning it like this. Um, it's not too bad. Right? It's pretty It's pretty strong, but not so strong it's going to be an issue. Okay, so the clutch is now engaging because I've turned it around enough times. Let's see what happens when I let go. <laughs> yeah, I probably only need just uh, one badge holder, uh, but I really don't feel like taking it apart. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to print with just this and see how it goes. But uh, it is very, very smooth. Uh, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Before, with the, you know, the PLA spring, it would only return like that much tops. Uh, and it wasn't a very smooth turning to begin with. And when the clutch engaged, it was a kind of a rough grind, but it worked, you know, and it was it was loud, a bit of a loud clicking issue. Um, but this one works a bit better. Now, the only issue with this variety is that you can see the uh, shaft in the center, that threaded rod there, is also turning. Uh, and that's something that I was trying to avoid, but I guess I can't really avoid it. Um, but it's no big deal, no big deal. Uh, this mechanism just works so awesome. I'm, I'm very proud of this. Watch it one more time. <laughs> That's so cool.